for Wattle. Hi everyone, um, it's Fiona and Catherine at Darling Down Under. Um, we're obviously all masked up and doing our safety thing. And here we have Jasmine and Wattle who are here going, uh, Jasmine is the illustrator who designed the latest uh, seedling baby prints. So we're here to have a chat about some stories behind those and um, Jasmine's business and how she got into designing cloth nappy prints. Is that exciting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got a couple of people there, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll just do our thing. We'll just talk. <laughs> we'll just talk. <laughs> we'll just talk. <laughs> Can we sit back oh. on the seat? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good girl. <laughs> so, Jasmine, welcome back. It's been a while since we've had you in the shop. I know. I reckon it's probably over a year, to be honest. Well, Must probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everything was for a while. Yes. And yeah. Wattle has grown up so much. She was so... Little. I really? remember the first time she came to the shop, she was still a baby. Really. Yeah, I think she was like a like nearly freshy newborn mm. then. And now we're like just nappies at night, toilet, other than the toilet chain, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they grow up so quick. That's right. But uh, you're about to start it all again. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Which is exciting. You can use cloth nappies again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. what do you love so much about using cloth nappies? What do I love about them? Honestly, I actually find them easier. So... We were pretty much full time with Waddle and we used them occasionally when we went on holidays. And I actually just found every time I tried to use a disposable, they would curl up. And that really frustrated me. I don't know why, I just found it. I'm also a bit of a, a clean freak, so probably cleaning wasn't something that bothered me. So the prints obviously suck you in, they're so beautiful. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're just easy to use, they're good for the environment, um, they're economical, you know, financially, all that kind of thing. So. Yeah, do you want to hold mommy's hand? <laughs> yeah, no, and honestly, my husband really finds them easy as well. So, but then at the same time, when that's all you know, it's that's what you do kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we're definitely excited to do it again. Yeah. We're going to try to do it from newborn. She started at two weeks old, so we'll try it from newborn, but also not putting pressure on ourselves because newborn with a toddler, you know, the same as I did put pressure on with her. Like that whole idea that one cloth is better than no cloth. Yeah, so, <laughs> precisely. Yeah, yeah. yes. But we're here really because you have designed, well, you've done quite a lot of nappy print designs, yeah, but you've designed the latest of the seedling baby prints. Yeah. Which, yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah, Kat's gonna <laughs> see if we can get a closer look at some of those and we'll get a yeah. bit closer up too. So, illustrating. Yes. How did you get into that? Was that something you did at school and did after as pre-baby yeah. work? So um, I was always like in school, it's like, what do you want to be? I'm like an artist. But what does that mean? That's such a broad statement. So I studied fine arts and then I also then was trying to figure out though, like I'm not someone who wanted to be an artist in galleries or something. I'm someone who likes art for the sake of art for two different reasons. I like things looking pretty and nice. And I think that that can bring joy by things just looking nice. So when you look at wallpapers and all those kind of things, so that, like surface designs, which is what cloth nappies is I love that kind of thing and I also loved the the power of art when you can just enjoy the process of art more so than creating something that's going to sit in the gallery but I didn't really know how that would outwork so then I did fine arts um took some time off and then went and studied art therapy and then um at the end of my degree um got married and fell pregnant <laughs> and stuff so then I was like okay this is the time when she was little that I was like I need to figure out actually how is this going to actually work if I want it to work like you know so um was just did my thing for her I did a lot of prints and illustrations for her her room and I'd sell, sell a few things here and there and um, was really the the power of Instagram to be honest <laughs> <laughs> you know anyone who has a business on Instagram loves it and hates it I think <laughs> it's just like really really powerful um to be out there and to be able to work from home but at the same time you know it's hard to have yourself on Instagram all the time you know you want to have that balance and stuff but I, I did definitely learn a lot about how to use Instagram and then I started posting and honestly getting into cloth nappies was like the big breakthrough so yeah, darling. <laughs> so yeah getting um into cloth nappies was I remember one of um someone I used to work with who was also an artist said to me um once you find your niche then it'll just all fall into place and I was like okay but how do you find your niche and I think it's just being true to yourself so to me cloth nappies was something I wanted to do I didn't get into it to to do my designs but obviously the designs were something that I was loved are you right Smitty you got it do you want to put a dollar here the designs were something I loved and I was like there I was like 
that's something I could do. So then I was just very forward with it on Instagram and then Puff Nappy Month, that was a huge thing. Like, you know, again, wasn't, I was just part of it because I loved nappies and I, you know, you couldn't get me to be quiet about them and I wanted to tell everybody about them. And then from that, I had quite a few Puff Nappy companies follow me, started brand repping and then things kind of like snowballed from there. They saw that I did illustrations and then I had a few approach me and it went from there and then it's grown from there. But I definitely doing art has something I've always done. Mm. Surface design has actually been something that's um, become a thing because of Cloth and Bees, really. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And look what you say about, you know, bringing a bit of joy and happiness. Yeah. I mean, it definitely does. The number of parents <laughs> we've, <laughs> Things be happy, isn't it? You, we've had in the shop who are like, you know, it just... Having the pretty print or colours, yeah. it just makes something that is so routine and that you have to do thousands of times. Yeah. Just gives it a little extra spark and that sometimes, you know, and choosing the oh, print. Yeah, and it's too hot for the beanie, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it just adds something special and, and a little bit of joy totally. in yeah. every day. And then the amount of people here who hate doing washing, but they love doing their cloth now. <laughs> so they're like, the only kind of washing they like doing it. I think definitely the prints are part of that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you might as well just bring a little bit of joy to something that we all do every day. Yeah. Yeah. So with these particular prints, yes. what was the, I guess, brief Eva gave for you and how did you <laughs> turn them into what they are today? Yeah, so okay. it's always interesting with briefs. I think... Um, say seedling baby, Eva. Seedling, yeah, seedling baby, yeah. Seedling baby, yeah. yeah. So That's the brand we're talking about. Do you want me to so. talk about one at a time? Yeah. I can yeah. pull them from here, though. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. We'll pull them up and put, put one at a time up here so yeah. people can see Yeah, yeah, so they can see that's a better idea, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we'll do Mama's Garden. Yeah, Mama's Garden. So that one was super this. special. Um, and there is this always this, like for me, I get a little bit anxious with briefs. So I, there's two different ways I work. I work either I do what I want and then they come and go like, yeah, I like that, but can you change these little bits kind of thing? Or I get given a brief. And briefs are exciting because you bring someone else's passion or idea to life. But at the same time, there's no way to know exactly what's in somebody's head. <laughs> so like, that can be like a tricky thing to get, especially when something is so sentimental. So um, this one was about her, her mother's garden and how much joy that brought her and, and how she loved gardening and things like that. So to create that was a real honor, but it also was quite scary. I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> pressure. <laughs> but at the same time, when, when it actually does come together, it's really, really exciting. So yeah, you just get a brief. So she gave me a few different flowers that she used, but obviously, you know, um, you, you can absolutely put all the flowers on a print you want, but when you've got a, a small surface as as a nappy, like, like you've got these ones, they've got 12 different stones on them, but at the same time you want to be able to make the most of the area you've got, so yes. going overboard with too many flowers. So it was like she gave a certain amount of flowers and then we talked together and brought it down which, to which ones we wanted. And yeah, so it's a lot of a back and forth when it's um when you've got a brief because it's like trying to understand what they want, but then you're also trying to do the fact that we'll um, you're the artist and this is your style. So it's like trying to find a happy medium between the two of you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so. we've worked for Eva for, you know, or we worked with Eva for ages and she yeah. is so lovely. She's so <laughs> lovely. She's so, so nice to work with, so easy to work with, you know. So very, very, when she approached me, I was just like over the moon. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yes, I will work with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was Mum's Garden, yeah. Yes. Sort of sentimental to Eve, I think. Yes, um, definitely. What about the beehive, which is, there's two beehives here. Yes. Which is this print. And there's a black one, but a black trim as well. Yeah. Beehives so, was so much fun, to be honest with you. I, it's probably one of my favorites. It's just so bright, especially the yellow trim one. This, like, yeah. Eva's print's like ceiling. The trims just like add this actual pop to them and magic to them and bring it together. Um, kind of thing, but like I'm actually scared of bees. <laughs> so one of them be like, I was like, okay, cool, I can draw, and I was drawing the bees, and I'm just like, this just it just is not working for me. And then I was like, it's a kids print, I want it to be cute, and I had the idea of doing the bumblebee, and so I painted a bumblebee, and then I showed it. She's like, yes, that's what we want. So that was like, <laughs> that was a really nice when it was like, because you do, you do, you do sketches and you do things, and it's just not feeling right and stuff. But as soon as I got the bumblebee, I was like, it just came into place, and they're just so cute. And like, and now I see bumblebees, I'm like, you're adorable. <laughs> Other bees make it away from me. <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, so. I think the bumblebees was like what made it a little bit special, a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the other print, the last yeah. print that we're showing is the yeah. birthstone. It's the birthstone ruby. So it's that one with lots of different stones in there. Very intricate sort of. Yeah. It's like so 
they were all painted individually and then they were brought together. So okay. that one was, again, another one that I was very excited about, but like when you're creating painting things that catch light, it can be really difficult to get it. So, yeah. and also the fact that different stones have different things. So some will be um, transparent and then others are solid. So trying to get them all to work together was, was an interesting thing. And I was quite nervous about it, but then seeing it, there's this, sometimes you're like, you know, you're painting something and you're like, I like that one, but I don't like this element. And then you paint a few more of that element and, and then you bring it all together and you're like, wow, that works. But then when you finally see it on the product, it's like, wow, that really works. <laughs> so like, it's like definitely a process. And that was definitely one of those ones where I had to yeah. trust the process and just give it a go. And, 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 and yeah. Um, yeah, it's now probably one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> impressive print. Just, yeah. yeah. And the opals as well. And I think it's like everyone can connect to it somewhere because everyone, has a birthstone, so it's yeah. like yeah. sentimental yeah. I think to individuals that way. Yeah. Okay. How do you yeah. find working out like proportions and stuff? Because I think we've probably all seen nappies where mm. the print is either too small or too big. Yeah, so that's actually a really good question. So I actually give a lot of um, leeway to my clients, which can be a tricky thing because not all designers will do that. But I think there's a huge difference where like, um, having the, the print larger. So obviously if a client approaches me, and they do nappies. I know it's going to be mainly on a small surface. However, a lot of them do like up and go mats, so they might want to, to still work with that size. Some of them will change the size for that. So I tend to give them a few different options that I think will work, but then it's always like, again, a back and forth um, kind of thing. So first of all, taking them into consideration of the, of the the product that it's mainly going to be on, and then what their style is. So Eva tends to always have white in yes. her backgrounds. So that was something I was very aware of. Um, so the, the B print is probably the one of her main ones yeah. that doesn't have yeah. the least amount of white on it. Um, so I knew that that's something that she liked, having that white negative space. Um, but then it is, it is, it is a back and forth, but you can always change the size to make something bigger as well. It's not a set thing, um, as long as the quality is still there. So you always want to make sure you're doing the original artwork uh, bigger, then you're going to make the actual print and then also give it, when you scan it, to create it into a digital artwork. Because I do most of my work is created by hand using watercolor when I scan it it's at a high quality so that it can be made larger if they do want it back yes. and they change their mind or do you want me to help yeah. you with that you do this okay yeah oh <laughs> she just keep doing it <laughs> yes now you did bring some of your um, yes. original work yeah I thought that might be nice to see the start of where it starts so Hold it up to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to bring it up? Oh, well, I'll do it. Keep us all the cap in the yeah. closer. So we we'll start side. with the B one, so you can see how it starts. Like some people, when they create, there's yeah. all different ways to work, and there's no wrong or right way to to work. So some will know that what their design is exactly going to look like, and then they'll paint that to do as a repeating tile. I like to paint all my stuff individually. Really <laughs> they are so cute. <laughs> Um, oh, the little yeah. thing. No, that's probably my favorite. Yeah, that's very cute. <laughs> that one too. <laughs> yeah, so when you paint them individually, you have the freedom to, to change the way they look, to like put more bees in or put less bees in, make them smaller compared to the, the beehive and stuff. So pretty much all majority of my prints... <laughs> Um will be all different, will be all separate. I didn't bring all the birthstones, but there's a few of the birthstones and stuff. So again they're all separate. And then there's a few of the ones from Mother Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's amazing to think they're all so little elements and then yeah. they all go together and beautifully just work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See obviously when you're working you, you do keep them in, in mind a, a colour palette and you work with them next to each other. A bit different with birth stones because <laughs> birth stones are their colour, so you're kinda of just going the whole idea is it's gonna be bright mm. kind of thing. But yeah, so um, yeah, so I do all mine individually and that way it gives the client as well as myself more freedom to go yeah. change it if we feel like it needs to be kind mm. of thing. So right. yeah. Yes, really? Here we go. I'll show you. Oh, is Dolly holding baby? Yes, we've got the home baby and go mat, which is oh, absolutely awesome. And look at this, just completely covered with the birthstones. And doesn't it look absolutely stunning? <laughs> it is a beautiful print. There we go. Hey. Yeah. This is Wattle. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can hear her say that. Yeah. <laughs> 
you are you are too. You are. You watch for a yeah. long time. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to watch all the big sister soon. I know. Where's the baby? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's very exciting, and thank you. Um, that's some really nice insights into into designing prints and things like that. So, this is this something that you're going to like expand on and doing yeah. more and more textiles and that kind of area, or yeah, hopefully. So it has like definitely grown, and I'm I feel so honoured. First of all, with the amount of cloth nappy companies that wanted to work with me, it's honestly every single time someone reaches out to me, it, it it's it's really humbling and it's really beautiful and stuff but then it's definitely grown from there as well so it's not just cloth nappies i've done um now like swaddles i've got a few of those coming out i've got some swimwear that should be coming out next year Ooh. um and then i'm trying to some some beach towels and things like that so it has grown but i am taking time off of the baby which is <laughs> exciting because i haven't, haven't had a holiday which is really important to get work-life balance yes. <laughs> yeah. but at the same time it's also scary to have your business grow and then take four months off kind yes. of thing but I'm just trusting the process like I did with when it all started. Like I was like, it started when she was um, really probably snowballing when she was about six months old. So the fact that it started only a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. taking four months off, I had beautiful clients so that, you know, um, and a lot of them work with other designers as well. So it's not like their strand of where I'm gone. So yes. then we'll just pick it up from when I come back. But definitely I do really enjoy it and stuff. But trying to find a work-life balance, especially then we'll have two, is something that's really important to <laughs> yes. me. So that's a learning process, but we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in and You're telling welcome. us all about this. It's so exciting and it's, it's lovely you. to see the, the transition from, you know, the idea to the sketches yeah. to what it actually looks like when it turns up on a nappy. Oh, yeah. Um, because we all see the prints, we all love the prints, but it's like learning a bit about how that actually works behind the scenes. It's, it's really a really exciting. cool process. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, all yeah. the very best for the upcoming baby and your break. And, yeah. And, and Wattle. And then you're, you're having a holiday too with Mum yeah. and Baba. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure we'll, we'll keep an eye on your work. I'm sure we'll see lots oh, more gorgeous yeah. stuff coming we'll out. We'll definitely, definitely down as well. <laughs> come yeah. pop in and say hi. Yes, come visit me. Yes, yes. Come yes. visit your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next time we won't wear the mask. We won't have to wear the mask. Hey. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? One day at a time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Thank you bye. very much. Bye. We're gonna say goodbye, bye. Bye. and I'm gonna work out how to do this. Uh, finish bye. Facebook first, and then end the Instagram one. Oops.